Did you mean to invite 5,000 people to your team's meeting? Believe it or not, I find myself asking this question all the time as a team's trainer. Today, we're going to go over three ways to properly schedule your team's meeting and ensure that only your intended audience is invited, whether that audience be coworkers, external participants, or members of the teams that you belong to. We're going to start with the less obvious option and take a look at how to schedule a Teams meeting from the Outlook web app or desktop application. And the reason I want to start here is because the only way to schedule a meeting for somebody else as a delegate is to do it from the Outlook calendar. I am currently in the Outlook web application and we're going to schedule this meeting on behalf of someone else. Notice that the Teams meeting toggle is turned off. Once I add one person to the meeting, it will automatically turn on. The default setting in the Outlook web application is to have every meeting automatically be a Teams meeting. If you don't like that setting, you can go to the Outlook settings, select View All Outlook Settings. Under Calendar, select Events and Invitations and deselect add an online meeting to all meetings and click save. This will not impact any meetings you already created. And when you go to make new meetings, you will still have the option to toggle on or off on a case by case basis. In this example, the meeting is going to be a Teams webinar, which does need to be an online meeting. And then from there, I'm going to categorize it as a teaching live event and give it the orange color. One of the recent updates is that when you color code a meeting in Outlook, that will also appear on your team's calendar. Now we're going to switch over to the Outlook desktop app, which acts a little bit differently than the web app does. So here you see I have some details for a super important project that's top secret. I might want to schedule a meeting with somebody to find out what's going on. If I take this email, I can drag and drop it to the calendar at the bottom, and it's going to automatically open up an appointment window. And notice that it drops in all of the details from the email, and I can take out anything that is not necessary. I can invite attendees to my meeting. And if I want it to be a Teams meeting, all I need to do is click the Teams meeting button. Unlike the web app, the Teams desktop app does not have the default behavior of creating a Teams meeting for every meeting. Now we're going to transition and take a look at how to schedule your meetings from within the Teams application. And we're going to cover two choices here from the Teams calendar or directly from a Teams channel. I have navigated to Teams and I am in the calendar tab. In the upper right hand corner, you see two choices, meet now or new meeting. If you select meet now, you can start the meeting right away or get a sharing link to send to whomever you want to invite. The most common option I see people use is new meeting. When you click on this, it will open up a meeting detail pane. I am going to fill out the details like I normally would and invite the people who need to attend. This will remain a private meeting unless you add a channel to the add a channel field. Now that I have scheduled the meeting, additional options will become available. If I right click, I can select categorize and add a color. Now I'm going to navigate to the teams tab and select my planning channel. And this is where we're going to get back to that question at the beginning of the video. Did you mean to schedule a meeting with 5,000 people? This is how that happens. When you're in a channel in the top right corner, you will see a meet button. When you click the drop down arrow, you see the option to meet now or schedule a meeting. Both options create a meeting in the channel, which everyone on the team can attend. I clicked on schedule now and notice in the add a channel field, the name of the team and the channel is automatically included. If you want people to attend who are not part of this team, you can add them as required attendees. Finish adding all the information you need in the meeting invite and then you will click send. Teams will automatically create a post in the post tab for you to see the meeting that you just created. 
If you don't want everyone on the team to attend, you will need to go to more options and view meeting details. And the ability to remove the team and the channel is grayed out, so you will have to cancel the meeting. And then you can go back to your team's calendar and reschedule it without the channel in the Add a Channel field. The key takeaway from this is if you schedule a meeting with a channel, everyone on your team will be able to attend. If you schedule it on your calendar and the channel field is blank, it will be a private meeting. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please consider subscribing or pressing the like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.